chances of that are pretty slim. There are many who give lip service to the dream, but few indeed who are willing to pay the personal price of dedicating their lives to its pursuit. The price one pays for investigating UFOs can sometimes be more than 22 years of time spent searching and not finding. There are those who believe that pursuing the UFO question may have cost physicist Dr. James McDonald his career, and perhaps more. Dr. James McDonald was a good example of what ridicule can do to uh, people who are involved with UFO research, especially if they have credentials devoted a good part of his life to investigating uh, UFO reports, sightings, writing them up, speaking at scientific and non-scientific uh, groups all over the country and in different parts of the world. Another thing that's common all over the world is the scoffing and ridicule from official sources, from my fellow scientists, largely, well, almost entirely. He was respected by uh, UFO researchers, but his peers sort of looked askance at what he was doing. When he was a, uh, a witness of giving testimony at congressional hearings on uh, what the SST, the supersonic transport, might do to the ozone layer, one of the congressmen uh, brought up the fact that he was interested in UFOs and researching UFOs and sort of made a fool out of this uh, very brilliant man. No one can say with certainty what it was that finally broke James McDonald's spirit. But the ridicule he endured for taking UFOs seriously cannot have helped him in his struggle with his own personal demons. In the early morning of June 13, 1971, Dr. James McDonald walked into the Arizona desert. An hour before dawn, he put a gun to his head and ended his life. Dr. James McDonald, a ghostly presence who stands at the door to the UFO mystery, greeting us with this reminder, beware all those who enter here.